Hi, I'm Sandra of Tonic Acupuncture. I'm an acupuncturist here in Lancashire. Many of my patients will remember me using certain points to help reduce any cough, cold symptoms that they may have come into clinic with. They have often reported that these points have been very successful for them and I would like to share some of them with you in the hope that you can reduce any of your virus symptoms that you have. Now please know I am not trying to say that I can cure the COVID virus. That would be a ridiculous claim to try and make. It would, I would love to be able to do so. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not something that I want to be able to claim. These acupuncture points are ones that you can press yourself. And that's why I want to teach you over video so we can all keep social distance in the way that we need to. But you can continue uh, getting some benefit from these acupuncture points. So the first point I'd like to teach you is here on the hands. It's halfway between the base of the thumb and the start of the wrist here. And you, so you're going to go halfway between and Press onto the metacarpal bone and then press into the belly of the muscle. It's just off the edge of the bone into the belly of the muscle there. So a nice deep press. And what you're also going to do when you're pressing this is some nice breath work as well. So with some of the symptoms, obviously deep breathing is going to be quite hard. So I want you to do some slow breaths. So as slow as you can go in through the nose out through the mouth and you want to repeat that around 10 breaths and then swap sides if you can do for longer then that's absolutely fine but really a minimum about 10 breaths what that's going to do is it's going to hopefully reduce any heat up here in the throat. It's going to reduce that horrible cough that you've got and hopefully help it be a bit more productive if it needs to be. But generally allowing you to get a breath between them coughs as well. It can also help benefit the throat. So if the throat's got quite sore and dry, it will help with that as well. So if you are starting with just a bit of a sore throat, this is a nice one to be pressing in them very early stages. One, because it's gonna help with your throat, but two, it's a nice point to boost the lungs and give the lungs that bit of energy at protecting your body from the virus getting any deeper. So that may help as a preventative in the early stages too. The second point is here on the wrist. So it is your finger, down from your wrist. So from your second knuckle up to the tip of your finger. So you're gonna place the second knuckle line on your wrist crease line, and you're gonna press in there. So it's in between the two bones. And I'll give you the technical definition because I'm useless at pronunciation pronunciation of them. I can't even say normal words, never mind the uh, body points. So press in there, you're gonna find a nice deep, nice little depression into there. Press in there. If your hands start going a bit funny, maybe that you're just pressing on the some of the nerves to so press a little bit lighter. But again, that can feel a little bit tender. You can see how, how much I'm pressing by those little lines that are coming up from my nails. Nice deep breath into there. And again, Deep breaths with your pressing, or slow, slow, steady breaths with your pressing. What the breath work is going to do is going to help you take control of that breath. And with this point being pressed, this is about opening the chest, allowing the lungs to breathe easier, getting rid of that tight constriction that you've got around there at the moment, but also reducing anxiety. So again, in the interim stages or before you even think you've been infected, this is a nice point to press to relax the chest, allow yourself to breathe better and reduce anxiety. So the next point I'm going to show you is 
a point on the chest. So again, this is about opening the chest, allowing our lungs to breathe better. So it is um, on men, it's nice and easy to find. It's where your nipples lie naturally. And then nice press within there. For women, look for the tender point. It's going to be probably in the midst of your cleavage. So look for a nice tender point to press. Mine's quite tender and it will then... Don't press too hard. You don't want to be hurting yourself, by the way. So a nice press. You want to feel it. Maybe it might feel like a bit of a bruise for pressing and that's okay. Just don't go causing a bruise by pressing it too much. So again, nice deep breaths or a slow, steady breath. And again, you want to do that for about 10 breaths. Swap sides. So once you've done this side, come to the middle, do that side. Then do the same, come back to the middle, do that side. Come back to the middle, do that side and keep repeating it as much as you need to do. At least 10 breaths on each side. So I have one more point to share with you, and this is a point to help reduce pain. Now, please be aware, anyone who's pregnant at any stage of pregnancy, this is contraindicated for you, so do not use it. So this is large intestine four, this point is called. And the way to find it is you squeeze your thumb and forefinger together, and can you see how there's a nice crease and there's a podgy bit there? There, that's exactly where you want to find it. Nice deep breath with the press and squeeze. Deep breaths. So these points are all there for you to use. Use them as much as you need to use them. You can use the pain one for just any other general pain. So if you've been used to going out for a massage frequently and you kind of all stuck with your shoulders being tight, give this point a press. If you're doing it for that reason, give your shoulders a bit of a wriggle at the same time. Perhaps you've got hip problems. Again, press these points, they can help. If you get any questions about the locations, what they should feel like, or anything else, please do get in touch. I'm here to help as much as I can. I'm gonna be showing some pictures at the end of this video. These pictures are kindly given with permission from a manual of acupuncture. And I hope they're really helpful in you finding these points effectively. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you share it with your friends and family. Take care.